Hey everybody, so if you don't already know, I was accepted a few months ago to Boston University to start my Master's in Music Theory. And shortly after I got my acceptance letter, I started searching for apartments because I don't live in Boston and I'd have to find an apartment in order to be a full-time student. So Denver and I, planning to move there together, started our search looking for studio apartments, one bedroom, sublets, anything that would be suitable for us for the year, and we didn't find very much in the first couple months. I was starting to feel um, pretty discouraged with the apartment search, and I even reached out to a few people who I knew in the area to see if they had any ideas, and then someone mentioned graduate housing. So I actually went down to Boston with Denver, and we went to the university and looked at graduate housing, and it, it was a disaster. It was an absolute mess, and this was at the beginning of the summer. Um, the room was so small, so incredibly small, absolutely overpriced for um, what you would be paying for. There wasn't even a kitchen in one of the buildings that we saw, like a shared kitchen for the entire building, which was multiple floors. And the rooms that were in my budget were only suitable for one person, not two people, which we needed because I wasn't moving there without Denver. So after that fell through, we were talking to some people in the area and they mentioned a website and it was an off-campus housing website for all of the different universities in the Boston area. And that's where I found many of my leads for the apartment search. So after graduate housing fell through and became very clear that it wouldn't be an option, I started looking for roommates who had apartments who were looking for other roommates because there were only a few months before the semester began. So I ended up finding very little. Any of the places that I found that were suitable for couples were way over our budget or they were extremely far away from the university and would require me to do an hour and a half commute there and then another hour and a half commute back every single day just so I could do my degree. But I did end up finding one couple, who I will call Mary and Archie for privacy purposes, who would be moving to Boston to start their degrees from another country. Now they'd already been to Boston, they'd seen the apartment, they'd met the landlord, and they'd already signed the lease and paid the security deposit and down payment in full for the entire apartment. So everything was completely done, all I had to do was sign the lease, right? So after Mary and I had talked for three weeks almost and determined that we were both trusting of each other, we even Skyped with them, uh, she got the landlord involved. Very early in the conversation with the landlord, I asked if we could plan a visit for August 6th for Denver and I, along with my mother, to drive out to where the apartment was located, see the apartment, possibly bring some stuff, and sign the lease and get ready to move in. And he said that if everything looked good with our credit scores and the application process, then absolutely August 6th would work, which was a Sunday. Now everything went fine with the application process except for one roadblock with our social security numbers. I just asked him if we could send them to him over the phone instead of through email where we also had scans of our driver's licenses and all of our personal information. And at first he was hesitant, but he did give me his phone number and I left them on his voicemail. So at this point in time, he had all of the information that he needed and it was almost August 6th. So I asked him if we could go to the apartment. <laughs> and that Wednesday, what day was that? August 2nd was the last day that I heard anything from the landlord to this day. After I sent him the social security numbers and he had all of the other information, he stopped emailing me and he wouldn't answer the phone and I got super scared. I called Experian and I froze my credit and I like protected my bank account and all of that stuff because I mean what else would any sensible person do if you gave all of your information including your social security number to a complete stranger and then he wouldn't contact you back. So I was starting to get really nervous. I wasn't sure what to do about the apartment, what to do about anything at this point, and I reached out to Mary, and Mary and Archie tried calling the landlord and he wouldn't answer their phone calls, and finally, on August 6th, my family and I decided we would just go there anyway, hoping that the landlord would show up. 
so Mary sent him a text message that morning and asked what was going on. So while we were on our way there, she got a text message back from the landlord where he stated that I had been disrespectful and that he didn't like us, and that is all he said. And I was extremely confused. I went through all of my emails. I had Denver go through the emails, and I had my mom go through the emails, and I even forwarded these emails to Mary and Archie, and they read through them, and none of us can figure out where he interpreted disrespect. And I sent him an email apologizing, and I even called him when we were in the city, and so did Mary. She told him we were in the city, and if he would be willing to meet with us, that we wanted to clear up any miscommunication, and he wouldn't respond. He wouldn't write back. And to this day, even after I sent him a super long, unnecessary, mind you, but super long apology about how I never meant to cause him to feel disrespected, he refused to get back to us. And so after a few days of not hearing from him, Mary and I decided that we would have to work on our plan B, where I resumed my apartment search and she started looking for new potential roommates. So that is where I was as of August 6th. Now I gave myself a little over a week to find a new apartment because Denver and I wanted to move in early and look for jobs because for the past few weeks we've both pretty much been out of work since we were planning to move and no one would hire us for two weeks time. So we have been on limited funds trying to find apartments in Boston from New York and it's been a disaster. So a couple days ago I sent my official deferral to Boston University because I was unable to find somewhere to live. Over the past couple weeks I reached out to over 20 people who had ads out for roommates and I even called multiple different apartment buildings to see if their apartments fell within my price range or if there was anything that I could do but of the people who got back to me they would not accommodate couples, they were extremely overpriced or they had forgotten to take their ads down and they had already rented their space out. So I had no other choices. And so I sent him my deferral. I've come to terms with the situation. I'm not upset about it anymore. It's just with our budget, with our circumstances, it just was not gonna work out for this fall. So that is what is happening. I'm not going to grad school. I am staying in New York for another year. Um, I had so many people reach out to me over these past couple weeks offering me suggestions and offering to reach out to their friends in the city and see if they knew anything, but at this point it's just there's not enough time. I'm potentially going to try again next year or try to look for another option to do my degree been a disaster. Oh, and some other possible questions that might come up. I did contact the university and there are no online courses available for my department and uh, none of the local colleges around here offer my program. So all of my plans have been changed, but I am okay with it. Denver's okay with it. We're gonna make it work. And if you are one of the people who reached out and tried to help with the whole living situation, thank you so much. I wasn't able to contact everyone that people requested that I call just because there were so many names and so many numbers and I did my absolute best. I can't tell you how many hours I put into all of it, but it just didn't end up working out. So again, thank you so much if you were one of the people who tried to help me in this situation. I'm not upset. I was, but I've totally come to terms with the situation and Mary and Archie did end up finding another roommate and they're all moved in and in Boston and starting their degrees. So at the end of the day, everyone is okay. So one man's ego ruined this for so many people, but that's okay. Moving on, staying positive. I have a place to live. Denver has a job now. So that's where we are. I don't know exactly what's going to be happening in the next couple of months, but uh, I do know we're gonna be okay and we have a lot of people looking out for us. So again, thank you so much. That's the end of this one. See you next time, guys.